I've died to a basket. I'm stuck at the basket. Okay. Well, uh, that's a thing that can happen, apparently. This is the World Randomizer mod. It's a mod that allows you to connect every single door throughout Skyrim to a completely random location. So, for example, if we wanted to go into Belathor's store, interacting with the door will send us to a completely random place, and now we are... Actually, I don't know where we're at. <laughs> And then if we interact with another door, as you can see, we're now in Riverwood. So that's what we're going to be checking out today. However, I have added a little bit of a twist to things. So the other day I released a video where I played as a giant in Skyrim. However, I didn't play as an actual giant. I just played as a very tall 12 foot character. That made me question though, can you actually play as a giant in Skyrim? So I was scouring the depths of Nexus mods and I actually came across another mod that allows you to polymorph into any Skyrim creature. And so we are going to try a possibly very difficult challenge of playing Skyrim as a chicken. Obviously, we cannot beat the game like this. For one, we don't know where we're going to end up whenever we go through these doors. And also, we're a chicken. We can't fight. We can't jump. We can't even sprint. So our objective for today is we are going to run around as a chicken, grabbing and stealing everything that we possibly can that is not glued to the ground and sell it to obtain a grand total of 5,000 gold. Yo, Future Core here real quick, just wanted to pause the video. So I ended up changing this portion of the challenge because I greatly underestimated how difficult the world randomizer was going to make this challenge. So because of all the doors being randomized and there being like, I think it's 1,600 doors or something like that, I had a very difficult time trying to find a general store merchant. So I ended up not being able to sell off the items because the only merchants I was able to find was street merchants who only accepted things like food and ingredients. So instead, I ended up changing this portion of the challenge to be that I had to collect a grand total of 10,000 gold, but in item value, including the septums that I ended up getting. The original plan was to gather 5,000 gold because that is how much that it costs to buy a house, and I thought it'd be funny to buy a house as a chicken. Anyways, enough talking. The intro is getting way too long as it is. Let's get into the challenge. As you see, we currently have zero gold. We have a massive carrying capacity. I, I think it's just the mod that does this, but we have absolutely nothing in our inventory. So we are starting completely fresh and there's a lot of items that we can grab around here, but we're not going to grab anything until we go through a door. We also have to make sure obviously not to die because again, we can get one shot. So going through the first door, let's see how this goes. Wish me luck guys. Oh, of course we ended up in a dungeon. <laughs> Oh no. I don't want to go back and, and use that door unless I absolutely need to because sometimes I have tested out this mod a little bit and sometimes you can run into situations where there, there just isn't a, like you're, you're just trapped. Like there is no other entrance or anything like that. There's no other doors. There is a jogger over there. Uh, oh, this is going to be tricky. We can't sneak. We can't sneak. We can't attack. We can't do anything. If I had health potions, I could use it, but it doesn't really even matter. Because if we get hit once, we're dead. Okay, let's just try and run for it. We'll try and run for it. We'll try and find any door possible. Where are we? Oh, God. Okay, okay. Oh, they're all spawning. Oh, they're all spawning. They're all spawning. That's that's not a door I can access. That's a gate. Oh, come on. There's a door. There's a door. Okay, I think we found one. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, we can't. Oh, it's locked. It's locked. No, no, no. no. And we've already died. Our first door that we've gone through, and we've already died. So yeah, as you can see, we, we definitely didn't do too good there. Uh, let, let's try another door. Hopefully, hopefully we get better. You know, we get better luck, okay? You know what's going to be a pain? Is having to try and find a merchant after all of this. Oh, whoa, where are we? Okay, we've ended up in another dungeon. They keep trying to send us to dungeons. I don't want to go to a dungeon. We're going to have to try and find any door possible. We do have a lot of stuff here. So let's see if we can steal anything. If anything, I can always go back. So one issue that I did find with... The, uh, the mod that allows me to morph is that the little search button is, is kind of like a weird spot. So sometimes it's very difficult to actually pick things up. So that's going to be a pain, but we'll, we'll make do. We'll make do. Now, can I wear this armor at all? Oh, I can actually put the armor on. I did not expect that. I'm assuming that we can level up too, but I don't know if, if we can level up. Oh, am I stuck? Yeah, we're stuck. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming that we can level up, but I don't know how if we can't fight anything. So we're gonna have to try and figure that out. I can't, oh, we glitched. Okay, there we go. Let's try and see if I can glitch up here because I want to try and grab this. Uh, as you can see, it is kind of tricky to, to actually grab things. I can go into first person and it makes it easier, but it also makes our camera a lot taller because it defaults to like our, our players or our character's position. So um, I feel like it's a little bit cheaty in some aspects. There are spiders there. I just got all of this good stuff. Wait, there's another path here. Where does this go? Oh, that's another spider. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, you know what? We're heading back. <laughs> We're heading back. I was like, 
We, we, we grabbed some good loot here. I got some armor. I don't want to die yet. I don't want to die again. Not on the second door. Let's go. We'll dup. We have a little bit that we can sell. It's not much, but it's at least something. You know, let's see where the main gate sends us. I wonder if it sends us to another city or something. Anywhere but another dungeon. Like, if we can get into a, an inn or something, that would be perfect. Where did it send us? Is this solitude? Oh, no, I can't. Wait, can I? There we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it just ends up us trying to glitch our way through things. So we ended up in solitude. This is pretty nice, which means that we can actually access a merchant right off the bat to go ahead and sell some of our stuff. Now, if I try stealing this, it doesn't... It's not going to steal, right? Yeah, okay. We just get some tomatoes. I don't know if I can steal any of this because of guards right there. <laughs> they are really looking at each other. I think they're in love. Okay, I don't think that I can steal anything around here. There's too many guards. So let's see. Let's see if we can find anything that we can steal. Okay, we grab that. I swear, if we get if we get a massive bounty and get attacked by guards for some stolen apples, I'm going to be pissed. Here, get the kettle. Get the kettle. Get the kettle. Get the kettle. <gasps> come on. 85 gold? I know we're not going to get that, but I mean, come on. We could, we could wish. Here, this is for you. What? Oh, come on! Really? <laughs> You're gonna fart on a chicken like that? I cannot escape the farts, man. They were doing that to us in the last video, too. So You, you help me. You help people, right? That's what you do. Uh, no, I'm, I'm a chicken. I'm a chicken, sir. You eat me. There's a lot of doors here. This might act as a pretty good hub if we have to, like, come back. Because there's just doors everywhere. Okay, right, grab some of the alchemy ingredients, too, because that, that kind of sells for a little bit. It's like one, what, one coin, two coins, something like that. Sometimes they don't sell for anything, so probably a waste of space, but we also have like 9,000 and something inventory, so I, th I think we're good. Man, they just leave their apples and stuff everywhere. We're not going to get much for it, but I know that the armor that we're wearing, we're probably just going to end up selling it because there's not really... I don't I don't think we're going to have much use to it, considering that our health is... Can I, can I even see my health? Yeah, we have five health. We have one Magicka, five health, and 26 stamina. Like We, we can't really do much with that. I don't think any ounce of armor is going to save us from like a single hit. So, uh, yeah, we'll probably just sell the armor. Yo, we got potatoes. Okay, potatoes are great. Okay, these have to go for at least 500 each. Got some leeks as well. I wonder if I can recruit other chickens and then we can just start attacking people in mass. Kind of like that Easter egg in Legend of Zelda, where if you start attacking a chicken, you just end up with like a swarm of them attacking you. Yo, there's a beheading going on. Yo, hey, can I get his head? On this day. Stand back. I want the loot. Oh, oh God. Oh, no, 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 sorry. No. I just wanted to look. I wanted front row seats. How dare. I'm getting that loot off his body, okay? I don't think he has much on him, but we're taking it, okay? Every gold septum is another gold septum in my pocket. I don't know what I was going with that. Look, it's four in the morning. I am tired. I haven't slept, all right? <laughs> we're doing this recording very late. I am a chicken. Just ignore me. Just a chicken. Very normal person. A uh, uh, creature. Pet. Yes, I'm a pet. Do not eat me. I really wish that I could wield weapons because I would love to have the, the headsman's axe. Start swinging that around as a chicken. That'd be great. There's his head. Can I get the loot now? Nice. I think it's good. All right. Hey, hey, stop eating seeds off the ground. We got a head to get. Oh, an amulet of Talos. Your shouts are twenty. last 25% longer. I don't think we could do shouts in this form. All right, so we got a little bit. I'm hoping that we can find a merchant, like one of the street merchants or something, because uh, I guess it's I can't really over. do much yet. Expected. Hey, can I talk to you? Hey, 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 uh, hey, sir, 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 talk to me. Talk to me. No, 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 talk. To, <laughs> come on, talk to me. Somebody talk to me. I can't go in there. If I go in there, I'm going to end up in a dungeon. Come on. That's Speak. Going in my oh, part of the we're not speaking to me. Nobody I wants to talk to a chicken except for the me. random people on the street. I mean, these are random people on the street, but come on. They're not They're not high on skooma. <gasps> are you a merchant? Oh, please be a merchant. Oh, you're a merchant. Sick. Take a look. All right. Let's see. Cluck Norris. That is her name. <laughs> I love the name. Oh, I can only sell you ale? This is bullshit. All right. Well, we have six gold. That's not come terrible. When you figure out how to spend money. Hey, look, I sold you some very high quality ale that I picked up in a dead man's pocket, mm -hmm. okay? Can I sell you any? I can't sell you anything. Does anybody want some armor? Like okay, chicken, stop wiping your feet. Skyrim. You're making the ground dirty. More plants! Can I get the. I want to get the, I wanna get the moth. I want to get the butterfly. Come on. No, no. Where'd it go? I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, you little bitch. Come here. Come here, butterfly. Wait, where'd he go? I've lost him. Wait, there he is. No, no, no. I've lost him. <laughs> he got away. There's another one. Can I get him? Can I get him? Can I get him? Nice. See, this is what ADHD looks like. And depression. Maybe I can find a blacksmith hanging around. Hello. 
Spare some gold for a veteran? I don't think I can give you any gold. I'm a chicken. Oh yeah, I forgot that we have the sewers mod as well. I think that the sewers are just full of- Oh wait, <laughs> I forgot that I had the door randomizer mod on for a second, so I thought we were about to be sent into hell. Okay, so it doesn't look like this place is added into the randomization just because- I'm, I'm assuming it's because it's a mod. Uh, I'm also not going that way because skeevers. And I, I hear that skeevers like chicken. So we're gonna nope the hell out of there. All right. I think we're just gonna have to risk it. We're gonna have to risk one of these doors because I don't know. Hey, where's everybody going? Wait, I know where the blacksmith is. Where's he at? He's over around this area, right? There he is. Yo, hey, I got some stuff to sell you. Oh, sick, we can sell. Okay, we have a steel sword that I can sell you. Uh, We're gonna get rid of that, that, that. And that is all we can. So we have 40 gold so far. This is gonna be a long ass video. I'm not naked, I'm a chicken! Alright, so, uh, I think it's time to go through another door. Hopefully it doesn't send us into hell. Where does the door send us? It is sending us to, uh, the outside of a ruin? I mean, it could be worse. Open a wood. oh, shit! I was thinking it was one of the, the, the random ones, like, not the, oh, no, and we're in a dungeon. Okay, I, I thought it was, uh, yeah, well, we're going back now. I thought it was going to be one of those, like, uh, oh, we're in stairs. Okay. <laughs> I can't talk, man. My brain's fried. It's four in the morning. Shut up. I thought it was one of those doors that you just, like, open. Like, it doesn't, it's not for, like, interior. It's just, you know, the doors are open or whatever. I don't know. What are the cave down here all sent us? Can I mine? I need a pickaxe. If I had a pickaxe, would I actually be able to pickaxe that or not? I kind of need to know that. I wish that I had a pickaxe. I don't know where to find a pickaxe. All right, let's see where we can go. We got White Run that way, Solitude. Um, Markarth would be an interesting one. I do like Markarth. Markarth's actually my favorite city in the game. I have a big fascination with all the Dwemer stuff in the Elder Scrolls series. I don't know what it is. I, I think it's just the clockwork stuff. Also, the clockwork DLC and like the Soth of the Sill stuff in Elder Scrolls Online is, is sick. I just love the idea of mixing like fantasy magic with sci-fi. Making my way downtown, walking fast, something spout to kick my ass. Oh, it's a zombie. <laughs> Are you right? <laughs> no. This zombie will never get us. I don't, I think we're actually outrunning it. Yeah, I'm doing a pretty good job. Sick. Zombies are not very fast, are they? What's up? You trying to catch up with me? Oh God. <laughs> oh, I hate the sounds. No. <laughs> Just keep running. <laughs> Maybe we could find a guard or something on the roads. Maybe the help. Now, if this was a real chicken, I'd be able to unhinge my ass and just start shooting <laughs> eggs at them like I'm a chicken machine gun. Where are these guys? Are these guys friendly? This guy's gotta be friendly, right? Who is attacking me? Oh, somebody is over there. All. Oh, I think that was the. <laughs> Wait, did they do that? Did the giant just kill the, the, the zombie? Well, sec. Okay. Hey, what's up? You guys, um. You guys are vegan, right? That's a lot of smoke. Blessings of the moon, Sapadin Traveler. Ah, oh, blessings upon the boons. Yep. Every time I make one of these videos, I have a stroke. I have no clue where we're going, but man, we are going. I wish that there was like something I can loot, but all we have is danger. More danger. A lot of danger. A lot of flowers. More danger. Am I in danger? Yep, I'm in danger. Look at that. Always in danger. Who is attacking me now? Actually, you know what? Maybe I should. Oh, this is that's just a person. That's not even a zombie. Uh, I just realized how much more difficult this is going to be because we can't fight. We can't fight. We can't do anything. Wait, no, that is a zombie. Kick his ass. I want his, I want his, yes. I want his pickaxe. I need the pickaxe. Oh man, I hope that we can find a mining node. I'm curious. Because if we can mine, let's go make this way easier. So since I found this mod, I did test out some of the other creatures that you can play as. And, and one of them is the giant, uh, similar to the video that I was trying to make last time, which I wasn't a giant. I was just a very tall person. But um, I, I realized that while doing that, you can actually wield any weapon that you want as well, which kind of puts you into like these hilarious scenarios. So we might have to check out the giant again at some point and do another video of that because I, I think that would just be great. Let me know down in the comments if you guys would like to see that because there's definitely some very interesting combinations that you can make with a giant being able to wield any weapon. <gasps> There's more cars. I see it. It's there. I just realized I don't know why I'm running all the way. I've been running for like 10 minutes trying to get to Markarth. Don't even realize why I'm trying to do this. Once I open the, the gate, I'm just going to get teleported into some random dungeon. This is a terrible idea. Why have I done this to myself? And I need you. No lollygagging. Give me a lollygagging. On. <laughs> Sorry. Hello, fellow humans. I am fellow chicken. I am definitely not Imperial Spy. I've taken your cabbages. You haven't noticed. Another thing that would be very handy right now is any enchanted jewelry. That would be amazing. <gasps> a fellow chicken! 
Would you like to join my army? We can roll amongst the human. Okay, you're walking away. Well, what the hell is that? I don't remember adding you into the game. You're. What is your texture? Bork, bork. Do you okay, dig up rocks too, like my mom? Are you wanting me to dig up your mom out of the ground? Oh my god! <laughs> no, no. I guess you can have that. I don't want that. All right. Well, we made our way all the way over here to uh, Markarth for absolutely no reason. Might as well interact with the door and see where it takes us. I don't know why I did this. Again, it's like four or five in the morning. My brain is fried. Leave me alone, okay? Leave me alone. I'm working hard to get these videos out to you guys on a very convenient time. And sometimes we have to make sacrifices, like recording with no sleep. All right, we made it to the front door, Markarth. Let's see. Where does this send us? We're in somebody's house. Well, I can snoop around and hopefully steal some stuff. Every single time I'm trying to be stealthy in any game, I end up just talking very quietly and I, I blame it all on phasmophobia. <gasps> Have you seen us? I don't think they can see us because we are a chicken. <laughs> the master of stealth. Can I? There, there's a there's a thing under your. I I, I want that. There there is there is a spell book right there, and I would really. I can't get it. I can't reach it. Oh, I can't reach it. I'm gonna have to cheat a little bit here. Shut up. Look, I didn't cheat. I'm still a chicken. Okay, <laughs> we're just gonna f up this dude's rug. Can you get that mead? Chicken, can you stand up, please? Thank you. Get the meat. Get the, get the, don't, don't glitch into the universe, okay? Just get the meat. We just need the meat. A single septum. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. No, don't mind me. You really should put on some clothes, you know. You should really mind your own business, old man. All right, we left. Where's the sinus? This sinus back here? Wow, okay. So we can't do anything with the mark door. That just goes to a dead end. Second. So the way that this mod works, for anybody who's curious, is it works on a seed system. So as you can see, I have all of the options set to chaos because I figured, you know what, why not, right? And basically you just generate a new seed on the character that you are trying to do this with and then you press start. It takes forever to actually start, but you'll get the pop up when it's actually done, but it can take up to like 15, 20 minutes, maybe even more depending on your computer. So it can take quite a bit of time to, to randomize it. But yeah, it just works off of a, of a seed system and it just connects all of the doors in a very random pattern. And then you can hit your life because you accidentally stumbled into a dungeon as a chicken and you can't survive at all. It's a good thing that I don't have survival mode on. <laughs> We're just frozen to death. All right, let's try going into the door for the stables. Maybe this will send us somewhere better. Just don't send us into, it sent us into a dungeon, didn't it? It sent us into a fucking cave. <sighs> oh, wow. This is a fancy cave. Uh, this is a farmer cave? At least we are the masters of stealth. They'll never hear us come in here. <laughs> Oh man, if we could find anything to steal, anything at all. I'm surprised that if we go into these places that we just get attacked on. So that is definitely a farmer. Okay, we got it. We got it. All right, farmers, farmers have detected us. How can the, the farmer even see us? Aren't farmers blind? Well, that was a bust. Basically, anytime that you run into an enemy that has a bow or uses magic, it's automatically you are going to die. So it's not even worth trying to risk it. At least with people who are using melee, there's the chance of running away. All right, time to find another door. It is beautiful outside as well. There we go. That's a lot better. Hello, fellow chickens. I am looking for a door. Can you point me in the direction of this Here. door? Where does this take us? Into a another cave. Oh, <gasps> hello. Hi. You won't hurt me, right? You won't hurt a fellow chicken. You're basically just like a sea chicken, right? Is there anything in here? What is what is the purpose of this cave? Well, I didn't find anything in here, so I guess that was another dead end. Yeah, you can run into that issue where it just sends you into like random places where you're kind of stuck. Yeah, so depending on the settings that you have in here, you I think you can mess around with this. I don't know if this would end up making it so that you don't run into that kind of situation that I was just in. But you can play around with these settings and so that the doors act a little bit different when you interact with them but the way that it's set up right now yeah you, you could just get stuck in the the one the one door rooms or the caves that just don't lead to anywhere also i gotta say this mod for the world randomizer i think it's still in beta or something like it's still being developed but it seems to work pretty well from what i can tell so I like how i'm talking more about the door randomizer than i am the chicken we got our little feet look at him look at him running god i wish i could sprint I wish we could fly what if we could be a pigeon a pigeon would be pretty pretty cool can I pick this up? I have a kettle. I've stolen your kettle. Wait, are you gonna, are you dangerous? Oh my God, your face. 
Good morning. Hey, I'm glad that you're not dangerous toward chicken. Nice. I'm gonna go steal all your stuff. Did you just... My god. Every time. Got your salt piles. Got your sacks of flour. Don't mind me. Just doing a little bit of thievery. All right. Time for the door. Where does this random shit is in a cave? All right. Well, let's see what's in this cave. It's a skiver. You're not going to attack me, right? What is that sound? Oh, that sound sounds very big. I don't like that sound. What is this? Ah, that's, that's a bear. That's a bear, right? That's a bear. That's, that's indeed a bear. I'm dead. Get him, Skeever! Come on! <laughs> Revenge! Revenge! That didn't work out too well. Time for another door. We do have a cave up here. So we could try exploring this. Oh, uh, <laughs> don't be an enemy outside. Oh my. I'm glad that we don't actually go inside of this, because uh, I don't like giant spiders. <gasps> yes! Wait! No. Oh no. Wait. Yes? No? Is this good? Are we in a dungeon? Or are we in Markarth? I can't tell. What is this? Baskets. You know what? I'm glitching into the earth again. Or into Nern. I'm stealing your baskets. You don't need them. You're a statue. Come on. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. All these stupid chicken hands. Can't do anything with these. Wait, is this a dead end again? Activate the Talos. The shine of Talos. All right, I'll tell you that. I've, I've become a Talos worshiper. Yep. I've died to a basket. I'm stuck at the basket. Okay. Well, uh, that's a thing that can happen, apparently. That's, that's, that's awesome. And I'm back in here again. Well, guys, if you try playing as a chicken, uh, don't. <laughs> or I guess if you really want to, just beware of baskets and maybe cauldrons and stuff. That's, that, I didn't expect that. Out of all of the things that I have died to in Skyrim, I, I can't believe that I died to a basket. That's to be the dumbest death possible. Wow, look at that immersive fallen tree. It's almost like that's the name of the mod. Hello, guards. I wish that I could pickpocket you or kill you. Yep. Why are we going to a wedding? You think they would invite a chicken to a wedding? That, you know, a chicken that what that isn't the, the main course? That, that, I, I don't want to be eaten, okay? We're trying to live our lives. We're Cluck Norris. I'm the most fierce chicken in all of ch chickenry. Yeah, that's a word. Look it up. Don't look it up, actually. Just believe me. It's a real word. Someone tried to eat me once. I had a fist come out of my uh, my feathers. Sent him into space. Someone once cracked open one of my eggs and it just exploded. <laughs> I don't know. Guys, it's five in the morning. I'm tired. Okay, shut up. Leave me alone. My brain is soup. Wherever the Daedra hide, the Vigil of Stendar will cast them into the light. I like Hermes Mora. That's not something you see every day. A chicken? Lady, you need to get out more. It's a goat! Oh man, goat, can I please use you as a mount? Please, please let me- Oh, there's an enemy. Oh, it's a wolf! No, 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 no! Here, let's lead them back over to the- No, 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 no! Mm. Well, we're dead. Again. This has become a lot harder of a challenge than I initially thought. All right, let's try going this way now. Hello there! Mm -hmm. I can hmm back. Hmm. about that? This is like S tier commentary. Okay. I hope you guys enjoy. You know one thing that we need a mod for? I need to be a rock in Skyrim. Not not like a like a movable rock, just like a rock. Like I want to play rock simulator, but in Skyrim. Just be a rock. You don't have to worry about anything. Nobody tries to kill you. You don't have to eat. You don't get cold. I guess you do get cold, but you don't feel it. You don't have emotional damage. You don't have to think about that one thing that you did when you were in high school. That you regret for the rest of your life. You have to pay taxes. You used to be a rock. Sup, my I'm dude? On a pilgrimage to the shrine of Azura, the gods yeah? of twilight. If you'll excuse me. Oh yeah, you do what you want to do. I'm on my way to your mom's house to shit in her bed. That was rude. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I wish I could steal this. This would be pretty cool if I can steal this. If I can ride on this. Let me ride on it. Urgh. How dare this game not make accessible mounts for chickens? How dare they? Nightshade. Nice. I can poison the eggs that I hatch. Citizen, I'm warning. Your presence is interfering with Imperial business. Be gone. You have issues, don't you? Oh, 
God, I have that song stuck in my head, and I blame every single one of you. None of you got that song stuck in my head, but I'm blaming you anyways. There is a dead zombie here, and I can't loot it. That is sad. Come on, at least give me a, a body that's got a lot of loot on it. Got a loot. It's an RPG. That's what you do in the RPGs. You loot, and then you keep looting, and then you don't get the loot that you want. So then you cry about it, and then you keep on trying to loot the loot that you want, but you can't find the loot because you have to spend 10 hours grinding on the same boss to get the one thing that you wanted to loot, but then it's not the right quality. So then you have to go for another 10 hours, trying to grind for that piece. But then you don't get the piece that you want because the enchantment isn't the right enchantment, and you don't want to spend two minutes trying to enchant it yourself. So then you grind it for another 10 hours. I don't know what's going on in my head. <laughs> Can I get this? Shrina Debella, hey, Shrina Debella, Miss Debella, Miss Debella up in the sky, can you uh, levitate my chicken ass up there so I can get that coin pouch, please? I would like it. I would appreciate Hey, can one of you pick me up? Can you pick me up? I'm vibrating into the earth. I become one I've been with atoms. In these parts for years. Yeah, that's cool. I didn't ask. I just want this. Give me this. There's another zombie. You are not attacking me. You are attacking me, but you missed. Because you, you, know, you know why you missed? Miss zombie, it's because you're a failure. You're a failure at being a zombie. Can't do anything right. Can't even walk like a zombie, right? Zombies don't run, do they? I guess some of them do. Yeah, that's right. Emotional damage. It hurts, doesn't it? Now that you know the truth, you suck as a zombie. The music is so intense, but there's nothing going on. I don't understand this. Hello, sir. Would you like to uh go go fight a zombie? Or not? That's fine, so. Can't talk Greetings, to you. Brother. You look weary. I have something to help you relax if you're Yeah, do you have drugs? Can I sell you things? Look. Nice. Oh my god, I can sell you so much. Wait! Alright, I can sell you a bucket. Nice. Glad that you like a bucket. I didn't realize that drug dealers were uh into buckets, but you know, we could do that. I got a lot of ingredients for your next drug drug related I don't I don't know what you guys do, man. Your your druggeries. Salt. They probably use salt in the creation of drugs, right? <laughs> cabbage? Definitely cabbage cabbage is obviously going Oh, you don't have any did I just give you a free cabbage because you ran out of gold? Sir, you do not know how to do business. Mm -hmm. Make him- What the f- What's going on here? Are you gonna fight? Fight him. Fight him. Fight him. Let me take his loot. Dude, that skooma, that could go for some good coin. Fight him. Come on. What are you doing, mammoth? Fight the damn dude. No, not me. Not me. Not me. Not me. Not me. Don't fight me. <laughs> What's the dragon? Don't be fighting me, man. Just fight that dude. Fight the Argonian. Come on. It's like Marge Simpson right now. Homie. <laughs> I think I need to go to sleep. Yo, hey, Argonian, please, hey, can you brother. fall over? I'm trying to see if I can scoot him over into the, <laughs> the mammoth so the mammoth attacks him. Yeah, that's right. Keep backing up. Keep backing up. You know you don't want some of this chicken, 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 chicken business. Oh, shit. Wait, 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 wait. No! All right, there he goes. They're fighting, finally. Don't attack me, though. Don't attack me. <gasps> yes! Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Now we just have to not die by mammoth? Oh, this is gonna be a pain, isn't it? Mammoth, can you please leave? I just, I just want the loot. I just want the loot. I'm gonna grab the loot. I'm, I'm, I'm risking it. I died. Oh, we're cuddling. I hate it. Wow, I'm glad that I definitely didn't have a save point right here. <laughs> Look, I, I had to. Okay, shut up. Can you walk away, Mammoth? Hey, right, here. Maybe if I walk away. <gasps> oh, he's walking away. Oh, he's walking away. Okay, finally. I can get down there. I can grab the skooma off of that dude's body. That's gotta be some good money. And I think I can get all the stuff that I sold him, right? Yes. Wait. Oh, he doesn't have all the stuff that I sold him. But he does have skooma, and he has sleeping tree sap. And moon sugar. Oh, man, we get, we're not gonna get high. I'm going to sell this. We're not doing drugs. Although it's tempting. Oi, there's a cave up here that I can, I can go into and then get lost, and then maybe end up in somebody's bathtub. Why their bathtub? I don't know. I can pass for a duck. My wank. Where will this take me? I need to know. I'm in a very singing mood tonight. I hate it. All right, where to? Where does this take us to? Where's the next place that we are going to cry because we don't like it? Uh, uh. Wait, there's a farm up here. Let's go check out the farm. It could be with our brothers and our sisters. We have made it to the to the, the place, the, the farm. There's my chicken brothers. I have found them. <laughs> nice cock, bro. All right, well, now I am here living my best life amongst my other chickens. Well, while I'm here with my chicken brothers, I'm going to pause here real quick 
because it's five in the morning. I've been recording for over an hour and I haven't slept. I need sleep. But you guys will not notice anything because I'm just going to edit this out. Unless I don't edit this out. And I probably won't edit this out because I'm an idiot. If anything, I'll probably look back at myself and laugh about this and be like, hey, I'm going to put a fancy zoom here now. Look at that zoom. Ooh, look at these fancy things. Look at that alien. Yeah. <sighs> what do you guys watch this? So after a night's sleep, I managed to approach the challenge with a functioning brain and come up with a genius idea that I'm surprised that I didn't think about at the beginning of this challenge. So as you know, the dungeons become a massive struggle during this because we can't attack or cast spells, which also means that we can't conjure up allies to help us. However, nobody said that I can't use companions to help me out. So I decided to hunt down Feindal in Riverwood, as he is the simplest follower that I could think of at the time to get easily without spending money or doing a complex quest. However, as we will see later on in the video, this didn't go well. And this is essentially where the entire challenge started to fall apart to the point where I started thinking about quitting or restarting the entire challenge. However, I did push through and continued the challenge regardless. I won't spoil if we managed to complete the new challenge that I had set up for us of collecting enough items to equal a grand total of 10,000 gold in value. But what I will say is that I know that you guys love seeing me suffer, so I'm pretty sure you will enjoy what is to come. With that being said, let's continue the challenge. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. Why does it sound like America? Even even the chickens have to pay taxes. Riften for the privilege of Oh, come on. <laughs> Bro, I died again. I just wanted into the city. That's all I want. I just wanted to interact with the door again because the guard's trying to take taxes from me because it's America and then I get eaten by a wolf. All right, you know what? Screw that place. We're finding another door. <laughs> I have 79 gold. I do have a lot of items that I can sell, though. So if we can get to a merchant, I might be able to make a bunch of money from it. But as things are right now, it's not looking good. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not the wolves. Not the... <sighs> okay. Oh, wait, wait. No, no, no. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Let me, let me up the stairs. There we go. All right. Sick. Open door. All right. We found a door. We found a door. Where does this take us? Please take us anywhere that's safe. Any place that is safe. This is safe? Wait, where are we? Oh no! Wait! I can't! It's a dead end! Can I fit through this? Well, you know what? There's a lot of items here that we can grab, so... <gasps> Coin purse! How much do we get? 17 septums! Nice! Oh, dude, we are making bank right now. Amulet of Talos. I don't think the Amulet of Talos is sell for much, though. But it's fine. I mean, we're, we're literally trying to sell... <gasps> Yo, crossbows and stuff! Sick! Yeah, we're, we're literally trying to sell things for pennies at this point. Alright, well, that... We got, a, we got some stuff out of that, but uh, we, there's no door or anything. That's just another dead end, so. Time to find another door, I guess. It doesn't look like the stairs here are going to really help out much. I don't think there's a way to clip into there, is there? Wait, can we? <gasps> Yo, wait, no, 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 we can't. Damn. Swim, little buddy, swim. I never realized that this is how chickens swim. <laughs> All right, let's try the gate again. I, I don't know. I have a feeling that the gate's not going to work that well, but we'll, tr we'll try it. I know that the stables is a lost cause. Our only other option is to wander off somewhere else and try and find a uh, place okay. to go. All right, yeah. Pay visitors, tax, I get it. You're literally going to give me the, the only option that I have is to pay gold. What if I just go in anyways? <laughs> Yo, you can just go in anyways. Oh, no. This is such a dumb challenge, man. <laughs> Why did I decide to do Welcome this? To All right, well, we have to make our way to some other random building to see if we get any better luck. Uh, this challenge was such a bad idea. Wait, was that a trader? Oh, yeah, Khajiit trader. Yo, I can sell stuff to you. All right, I have so much stuff that I can sell you. Okay, uh, we're selling that. Yo, we're about to make so much bank. We had 70-something monies before, I think. I can't remember. The Warhammer alone is 113. Yo, we're at 411 already. Iron Arrow doesn't sell for anything. Uh, iron boots, milk jugs, lantern, moon sugar. Yo, you actually buy the drugs off of us. Sick. We're drug dealers. Pickaxe. Uh, did I want to keep this? I'm actually going to keep the pickaxe for the moment. Potion of healing. That's not going to do anything with, to us because we literally have five health. We get attacked once. That's it. Sell that. Sell these. Sell all of the skumas. Sick. Okay. So we are left over with a pickaxe and 698 money. Oh, man. We are doing so good. We're like one, not even one fifth of the way there. But we're, I mean, we're kind of close. I don't know. <laughs> sort of close. Damn, there's a wolf over there. Okay. Can't take, I can't go that way because there's a wolf. Yo, I'm, I am trapped from every angle. I can't deal with Riften. I don't know what's up with the Riften guards. There's a wolf over here. I can't fight. Oh, this is terrible. This is so bad. 
All right, I'm sad to say, I think our only option at the moment is to hire this dude to take us somewhere. I don't want to, man. It's going to be like 20 coin or something. How much is this going to be? How much does it cost to go to White Rhines? It's 20 gold. That's. I mean, it's not terrible. It could be worse. It could be way worse. Climb on back and we'll be off. Uh, are we going to get on? Wait. No, 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 no. Are we going to get on? Okay. <laughs> I thought it wasn't going to take us there for a second. Wait, this hasn't been randomized too, right? Nice, we have made it to White Run. Okay, now we just need to head all the way over to Riverwood. So uh, I am going to speed up this part of the video. That way you guys don't have to sit through this. And we finally made it to Riverwood. Man, that trip, there were so many things trying to kill me. I'm surprised that I made it. Ah, we're finally here. We just gotta go talk to Fandal, and then we gotta talk to Camilla, and then uh, Fandal again, and then we're good. Then we have a buddy that can kill everything for us. We just have to not get hit by anything is all. So this should make things a little bit easier? Hopefully? Question mark? I don't know. Fandal, where are you? Where is he? We're here to teach you a lesson. Wait, what? Oh. Whoa, no, 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 wait, 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 what? Why, why do I have thugs after me? Why do I have thugs? What's going on? Guys, help me. Somebody help me. Help me deal with the thugs. Why are thugs after me? What have I done? I'm a chicken. Who hired thugs after a chicken? Oh, they're running around. Oh, they're running around. They're coming to get me. Run, chicken. No. Guys, somebody help me. Yeah, you do something, please. I am a chicken. Oh, no. The one place that they could have attacked me. There isn't any guards or anything that can help me. I hate this. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Come on, run. Just run. I just want to talk to Fandal. That's all. Uh, this is it going well. Where the hell is Fandal at? <gasps> Fandal. Fandal's there. Oh, no. I'm stuck. Wait. <laughs> no. Okay, hold on. No, 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 no. Don't attack us. Don't attack us. We have to get down there. Fandal. Fandal, please. Please talk to us, man. We just need to talk to you. Oh, wait. Can we actually do the dialogue? I just thought about that. Oh, no. The dialogue. I'm not going to be able to talk to you without getting attacked. Oh, this is terrible. This is a horrible idea. No. Can somebody please help me? Why is it anybody trying to attack this? Oh, you son of a f***. <laughs> All right. Attempt number two. Let's try and see if we can talk to Fandal now. Who the hell hires thugs after a chicken? Oh god, not again, not again, not again. They're here. Wait, is this just a repeating thing? I thought I can escape them. I can't. No! Oh, they're right there. They know I'm here. They're trying to find me. Somebody help. Help, please. Where the fuck is Feindal? I like how I have to manage walking around to juke these guys. There's Feindal. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Feindal, look. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, so, problem with Sven. That's cool, that's cool. Come on, come on, we gotta skip through this. Look, there's thugs after me. Um, yep. Let me, let me, <laughs> come on, shut, shut up, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We gotta get rid of these guys. Oh, they're coming back this way. So we have to talk to Camilla. I don't know when Camilla is out of the house, so I'm gonna check real quick what their um, schedule is like. And hopefully it's soon, because I don't know if we can wait time out right now. Okay, apparently she leaves her house at around 6 p.m. So we gotta figure out how are we going to do this with thugs chasing us. All right, what if I just try to do it here. Are they behind us? Where are they at? Where are they at? Where are they at? Yo, they're right there. Oh, they're right there. Yep, there they are. Okay. <laughs> no. I need to talk to Camilla. Dude, I swear, this challenge is not worth it. Why did I decide to do this? I think we also slept for too long. So now Camilla is not going to be here. Camilla's going to be in there. What if we sleep for three hours? We're yo, yo, no, 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 they're going to chase us down. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm dead again. I'm so glad that I decided to do this challenge. Can't you hear the excitement in my voice after that? <laughs> here to teach you a lesson. Yeah, all right, go ahead and kill me. I, I'm done with this. Bro, why? We were doing so well. <laughs> now we're stuck in hell. Uh, I just wanted to talk to Camilla and I can't talk to Camilla because Camilla's in there and I need to, I, I, I. <laughs> Oh uh, no, I, don't, I know you're here to teach me a lesson, but I don't want to be taught a lesson. I just want to live. Right, where does this take us? Where does this take us? Please, somewhere safe. Not a dungeon. Anything but a dungeon. I can't deal with the dungeon. If I go back through that door, I'm probably going to die. <gasps> Wait, where are we? Yo, yo, yo. Where is this? Where are we at? Where's on the map? 
Okay, we're not that far away from Riverwood. There's enemies around? What do you mean there's enemies around? There's no enemies around. Are they actually going to show back up here? Okay, they haven't showed up so far. So we're going to head back to Riverwood and hope that they're not there. All right, we're back in Riverwood. Are the thugs going to be here? Because if they are, this is going to be such a pain. All right, we waited a while. The thugs haven't shown back up. So I think we're in the clear for the moment. Uh, we have waited until 5.52. According to the wiki, Camilla should be popping out at around 6 p.m. to go to the Sleeping Giant. So hopefully that's correct. Okay, it's 6 p.m. Come on, Camilla. Camilla, come on. Leave the house, please. The one time you need to touch grass. You're naked. Shut up, kid. I'm not. I'm a chicken. Bro, why hasn't Camilla come out? It's 6.11. Camilla hasn't left the house. Come on. <laughs> Leave the house. I need to talk to you so I can do this quest before the thugs show back up. All right, I've been waiting for multiple in-game days and Camilla still hasn't came out. And I'm wondering if it's because we have to go into the store first so that the whole conversation with her and her brother happens before she'll actually leave her house. Because I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for many in-game days and nothing's happening. So, uh... I think we're gonna have to wait and hope that we end up inside of the building, but everything that I've tried, she doesn't pop out. I could use console commands, but I feel like that would be cheating, so I think we're just gonna keep on going. All right, well, let's go through this door, see where it sends us, and uh, just wish me luck, guys. This challenge has been way more difficult than I expected it to be. Oh, we're back in Riften. We're inside of it, at least. Come on, let me get through. Let me through. Let me through. Oh, I can't get through. Can I, can I like, glitch my way over? Let me glitch over, please. Yes! Oh, we're in! Sick! Okay, let me find anyone that I can actually sell items to. Can I talk to you? Let me, let me sell. Let me sell. Let me sell. All right, I have things for you. I can only sell you plants. That kind of sucks. I can only sell them a pickaxe. This is bull, man. Why does nobody want my stuff? I have so much stuff. Wait, do I? Yeah, I have so much stuff. Why does anybody want it? All right, let's try this door. Let's see where this sends us. We have a lot of doors in Riften that we can take advantage of. So, wait, are we back in solitude? Okay, we are. All right. I mean, it could be worse. Now I just need to see if I can find someone to sell my stuff to. Cause I feel like we have a good bit of coin you worth of stuff. Alright, let's try another door. I'm not having much luck with these doors. Yep, another dungeon. <laughs> it just keeps sending me to dungeons. I can't go through the dungeons. They're full of enemies. In tight spaces. It's not working. I just get one-shotted. I need somewhere I can actually go. I need someone I can sell stuff to. It's another- <laughs> How did I end up in the same place? I'm starting to understand why chickens can't afford houses in Skyrim. Life as a chicken is difficult. Wait, where did we end up? Somebody's house. It doesn't look like there's anyone here, which means... Oh, yes. So much stuff to steal. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Grab, grab the items. There we go. So much more items for us to sell. Once we actually manage to find a merchant who will take all of our stuff, we are going to be so rich. All right, I managed to steal everything that I could possibly reach... So, I guess we just gotta go back. Time to look for another door. We got a lot of loot from that. A hell of a lot. Even got a black soul gem at some point. I don't even know when I grabbed that. Too bad we can't cast soul trap. We could have made that worth a lot more. All right, here's a door. Let's try this one. Please, not a dungeon. If anything, send us to Riverwood Trader. Come on. We need in there. We gotta talk to Camilla. Oh, uh, where are we at? We're outside. Let's try this one. Uh-oh. Oh, that sounds bad. Oh, we're in a dungeon. We're in a dungeon. What's back here? What is this? <gasps> Soul gem! Take that. Hello? Oh, we got droggers. Okay. <laughs> Can't do this. Yeah, maybe we should leave. <gasps> Yo, a pouch! 25 coins richer. Another dungeon. So many dungeons, man. I would love to try out this mod again, the world randomizer mod, when I'm actually able to attack. But as a chicken, I can't do anything. I can't defend myself. This is so difficult. <laughs> Alright, let's try this door. Oh god, we're getting attacked. All right, back in here. Yo, I can't. I can't. I can't survive. Right, we're safe. We're back here. Okay. Well, time to find another door. I feel like this challenge is going to make me go insane. All right, let's try this place. Damn, I kind of want to steal everything, but I can't. If I steal anything, I'm going to get a bounty, and then I'm going to get attacked by a guard, and then I'm going to die. Or I'm going to get attacked by them, and I'll die. Uh... What about the palace here? It's got a couple of doors. Wait, did we end up at- we ended up in White Run? No, actually, this isn't that bad. Oh, finally a person I can sell some stuff to. You're not gonna pay anything for the butter? Seriously? That's high quality butter, man. Oh my god, we're at 756 gold. Come on, take us to Camilla. Take us to Camilla. This isn't where Camilla stays. <laughs> I just wanna go to the Riverwood Trader, man. I need to talk to Camilla. 
Oh, it's another dungeon. What the fu- Uh, uh, guys, uh, I think we ran into an issue. Okay, well, that's another death. How the hell did I end up here? Come on, take us somewhere good, take us somewhere good. Okay, we're inside of a house. Looks like a lot of good loot. Okay, somebody's sleeping here though. Uh, here, let's try and sneak around. It's potions, take all this. Shh, we can't wake them. Damn it, come on. Step up. yep, nice. Grab this stuff, come on. <gasps> Coin pouch. Stop, stop the noise, stop the noise. Coin pouch. Coin, coin pouch. Coin, coin, coin pouch. Coin pouch. There we go. All right, that wasn't a lot, but you know what? It is something. Oh, we got some good stuff in there. Oh, man. I need to find someone that I can sell stuff to. <gasps> oh. <laughs> yeah, I got so excited for a second. I thought that was sick of Mila. We have run into so many empty chests. Why is every chest empty? Just give me some good loot. I need the loot, bro. I really need the loot. No secret the Aretino boy is doing some ritual, trying to call the Dark Brotherhood. I am the Dark Brotherhood. Fear me. I have come to answer the ritual. <laughs> Night Gale and... Oh my god. It never ends. It's just door after door sending me everywhere. This is actual hell. One thing that this challenge is making me realize is that there's a lot of houses and places that I have not been yet. And I've put many hours in this game. Well, time to steal everything. Oh, we're gonna have so much stuff to sell. The only issue is actually trying to find a merchant that'll take my stuff. We have not had any luck on that because we have to find a street merchant that'll take the stuff that we sell or we have to get lucky and manage to get into one of the, what, probably dozens of stores out of like 1,600 <laughs> different doors. I am slowly losing my sanity. All right, sick. We ended up at Angie's Mill. We ended up getting a ton of stuff from that one place. We have 795 weight. I don't know how much this is if we sell it all, but we have to try and find somebody to take this stuff. We got to sell this stuff, man. I need somebody to take it, please. <gasps> Another house. Oh, there's more stuff to steal. <laughs> we have so much. Wait a second. Wait, no, this isn't the Riverwood Trader. Never mind. That's right. There was a table right here and a chair. I'm gonna steal everything and then I'm gonna try to see if maybe we can wait long enough for them to appear and we can try and sell stuff to them because we have a lot and I'm curious how much we've made so far. I'm starting to think that we might not be able to get to 5,000. I might have to lower it to like 1,000 or 2,000 because I did not expect how difficult it was going to be not only to grab stuff but just to survive in general without being able to attack and being able to get one-shotted by everything. This is a hell of a challenge, man. Normally I wouldn't consider changing the rules this especially this late into this but i've been recording for so long and i'm trying to get this video out in a decent amount of time and at this rate it feels like it's going to take a week oh they're selling skooma okay we've waited let's I'm see if we can sell something oh come on no come on come on come on come on oh we can sell so much you know what it's it's only alchemy ingredients and food but it's at least something let's see how much we can make from this 954 gold oh we are doing very well okay We've done what we can. I don't want to try and continue stealing anything because some of it's hard to reach and uh, we don't want to get a bounty. So let's go through this door. Maybe we can get into another market. We, we need another store that we can end up in. I need somebody else that can sell this stuff to. Where am I? Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not again. Oh, man. Back at Angie's Mill. Is there another door anywhere around here? I know that there's that one, but that's not going to take us anywhere new. We need some more new. Yeah, if anybody else decides to take this challenge, good luck, man. This is, I, I didn't expect it to be this difficult. Like, I knew that this was definitely going to be a challenge, because, I mean, you know, I wouldn't call it a challenge if it wasn't. But, like, running around as a chicken, you can't sprint, you can't jump, you can't fight. I can't get the NPCs to come out when I need them to come out. I can't find a merchant, because it's almost impossible to actually find the right door. Oh, man. Back into the wild. Oh, there's a wolf. Oh, there's a wolf. Okay. Yeah, we can't do wolves. There's a cave. Oh, is there another wolf? Oh, come on. Please, no. Please, no. Look, we've gotten so far. We got so far. We can't die to a wolf. I've collected so much stuff. Uh, swim, chicken, swim. Try to make it to the cave. Hope that it doesn't send us into a room full of droggers or an actual fire pit. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, we're getting attacked. We're getting attacked. Oh, they got ar <laughs> <It's> archers. <laughs> no. No. Life as a chicken is so cruel. Everybody just wants to turn you into chicken nuggets. I think we've escaped them. Cluck Norris lives again. Oh no, what is it this time? Oh, we got zombies. You know what? Zombies aren't that bad. At least we can outrun them. 
Is life this difficult for you guys too? <laughs> Yo, question. <laughs> How much does it cost to buy a house like this? I think trying to buy a human house as a chicken, probably not ideal. <laughs> kind of difficult. <laughs> we're in Blackreach. <laughs> no. Oh no, we're in Blackreach. Come on. Really? Is that person friendly? Who are you? Are you nice? No, you're not. Oh no. Oh, okay. Well, we're definitely. <laughs> it's a fishing ship. Oh. Door, finally. I've been searching for like 20 or 30 minutes. Guys, if you enjoyed my suffering so far, make sure to leave a, uh, a like and maybe subscribe. I always forget how neat Solstein looks. <gasps> Yo, wait! Merchants! People! Humanity! <laughs> finally! <laughs> it's only been like 40 minutes. Oh, sweet Raven Rock. Do any of you sell anything? Can't, oh, come on. No, no, no. Talk to me. Talk to me. Let, no, come on. I just want to sell I'd things to you guys. Oh my god. Oh, we can sell so much. Yo, wait. Come on. <laughs> just let us get at least over a thousand. Oh, yes. Look at that money racking in. Oh, we're making so much money. Hell yes. Oh, we still have so much that we can sell, though. Is there anybody else here that can that can uh, buy things? All right, well, I think, I think we've run out of luck. I don't have anybody else that we can sell stuff to, but we did make a lot of money. We made over a thousand. All right, I'm gonna keep going for a little bit, but if I fail to try and find a merchant within maybe like another hour or something, then I think I might just end it. And well, I'll, I'll, I'll redo the beginning so that uh, the challenge is for a thousand instead of 5,000, because I, as much as I would love to reach 5,000, when I came up with this challenge, I did not expect it to be this difficult. I wish at the beginning of the challenge that I thought about the fend off thing but even then it seems like camilla might be glitched out i don't know what's going on with camilla's schedule okay. whatever's going on there that's kind of affecting us being able to complete that quest anyway so we probably wouldn't have been able to do it at least not on this try yeah i don't think there's a merchant here oh no how do i get out wait how do i get out of this place <laughs> no look i love apocrypha it's a cool place visually stunning but i i don't want to be here i really don't i don't want to be here can i leave activate where is this where is, activate it Oh, that's not doing anything. Oh, we got a big guy after us. That's cool. All right, don't kill me, please. Oh, you really want to kill me. Oh, we're getting attacked. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. We're going to die. We're going to die. We're, yep, there we go. All right, GG's. All right, real quick. I did find a ore van, and I still have my pickaxe, but as you can see, cannot use it. So that's kind of sad. So if anybody was going to try and use this as an option, uh, yeah, it doesn't work. Wait a second. Am I outside of the map? What the hell did that happen? Oh, I found sapphires. Yo, can I can I get some of that coin? That's a lot of coin that you got there. Can I can I have a few septums? Just a couple. A couple won't hurt, right? I've been wandering around forever. Let me. What is this? Where am I? This is Northern As Asylum of Giuliano's. What? I don't recognize this place at all. What the? Twas a while. Rumpus it was. All right, guys, well, we're going to wrap it up here because I ended up not being able to find a merchant to sell all of our items to. And I'm sure if you remember at the beginning of the video, I ended up changing the challenge. So instead of trying to sell everything to a merchant and get 5,000 gold, I ended up changing the challenge so that we just need to collect at least 10,000 gold in item value, including the septums that we collected along the way and the items that I did sell. So did we end up beating this challenge? Yes, we did. The grand total of all the items in my inventory right now, including the 881 gold from the items that I have sold, all add up to a grand total of 15,000 175 so i went 5,000 over what the new challenge is so we have done it we have beat this challenge it was way more difficult than i expected i knew that it was going to be hard running around as a chicken that couldn't fight but i don't think i expected trying to find a merchant to be as difficult as it was and also the whole thing with camilla not coming out of the house so we couldn't get our uh, our free companion that kind of sucked Anyways, let me know down in the comments what you guys thought about this challenge. And if you end up trying it yourself, let me know how it went for you. Because I know that it's going to be a little bit different for everybody because of the random generation. But man, this was a very long journey. There's been a lot of hours put into this for the recording and for the editing. So I hope you guys enjoy this. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Because I have many more Elder Scrolls 
videos, challenges, just a bunch of things in general planned for the future, and even some Fallout content. So if that's something that you enjoy, definitely make sure to subscribe. I also want to take a quick moment just to thank everybody who has been subscribing and watching the videos lately. There's been a lot of support recently, and it genuinely means a lot to me. So I love making these videos. It's a lot of fun. The whole process of recording, planning, editing, everything. I have a blast with it and I have a ton of other things in the future that I would love to try. But anyways, again, thank you guys for all the support. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.